Hello YouTubers. So today we're going to talk about arrays, how to um, how to create them and how to how to use them very briefly. So um, what's an array? Let's start with that. Um, an array is a is a data structure um, or object that uh, contains several variables of the same type. So as an example, you might want to create an array of uh, integers. Okay. So in that case, we would do uh, we we'll put the type of array. And then you use, bra use brackets like that, and then call your array something. So I'm going to call it nums. Okay, so that's actually that's actually a reference. Okay, so this nums becomes a reference of an array. If you want to actually instantiate the array, then you want to say nums is going to equal to new array, and then you have to enter the data type. So we want to create an int integer array. And then you specify the size too. So let's just say that I want my array to have ten uh, hold ten values in it. Okay. Um, and now we do have an array. So when you use nums and IntelliSense, these are the proper properties and um, uh, and methods of an array. Okay. So for you to add a value to an array is just like a variable. The only difference is that there are positions, and the position of and the position that you want uh, value to go into, it's uh, going to be placed between the brackets. So let's say our array array zero, we want to hold the integer zero. Um, um, array uh, the nums array position number one, you want to hold the value one. But uh, on nums position number two, you want to hold the value three thousand or two thousand. Okay, and then nums three we want to hold the value of 5000 okay and then you can you can print the value of your uh, of your arrays by using the um, right line so let's just say that you, you want nums um, two okay to uh, to show up then you would just uh, you know put the reference in there um, console.readline so then we can actually see what we type and then we're going to pre press F5 and then it runs and then you see that the only thing that prints is 2000 because that's what we're calling for array number two which holds the value of 2000 now um, there's something there's something in C sharp called a for each um, and it's very very useful so this is how we use it um, enter the keyword for each and then declare the type and then you're gonna say inside array nums and then you can say that for each I so you want to console dot right line um, I okay so for each each integer and in the array it's going to uh, it's going to print on the screen So I'm gonna run F5, and here we go. So you see, it goes through the first one, which is array zero, and then one, two, three, and and then it's gonna uh, it's gonna also uh, do four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Um, so that's a total of ten because it's zero to zero. So if you count zero all the way to nine, those are ten, that's ten elements. Um, it's just gonna print everything on the screen. There's another way to uh, to do arrays. Um, and the other way is to actually instead of doing this part is to actually instantiate the arrays by adding the items to it so let's say that we want to do we want to put 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 9 10 12 and so on okay so now we're not going to specify how many items um, I want in the array. I'm going to simply enter the data, and then that array is going to it's going to it's going to uh, define automatically. So let me run it again, and here it is. So now I just ran the array again. It goes zero all the way to twelve. Okay. So that's it for arrays. If you have any questions, please feel feel free to ask, subscribe, rate, and then um, it will be pretty cool too if you actually share with me what you're going through. Uh, what you want to see in C sharp so then I can uh, 
make my videos a bit more specific instead of covering all this boring stuff. I'm, it, we're going to get into some uh, a little more fun uh, a little later, but I'm just covering the basics because I want to do a complete series. Okay? Um, again, thank you for watching and um, ask questions if you have any. Bye-bye.